Fine. Y'all are ready to move on from Dak Prescott? Let's go ahead and take a look and see just how worried or optimistic Cowboys fans should be if this is what happens. And the Cowboys have to go on the long road of finding a brand new franchise quarterback. Now, I feel like a lot of Cowboys fans have been spoiled by the fact that we got Tony Romo, luckily, as an undrafted free agent, meaning even the Cowboys initially didn't know he was capable of being a franchise quarterback. They really lucked up into that position because why not, right? All their other quarterbacks were terrible. We're about to take a look at that. And we went from Tony Romo straight into Dak Prescott. I feel like this luck has goaded Cowboys fans into believing that somehow that this franchise is capable of finding a proper replacement and capable of actually doing a good job of scouting a quarterback. Y'all wanna draft one? Okay, let's take a look and see their draft history. Y'all wanna sign one in free agency? Okay, let's take a look at their free agency history. Michael Penix Jr., huh? But y'all want Michael Penix Jr.? Y'all want the Cowboys to draft? A quarterback okay let's take a look at all of the Cowboys quarterbacks that have been drafted by them over the years shall we 1989 this was the year that Jerry Jones bought the Dallas Cowboys for 140 million they then got Steve Walsh Troy Aikman Troy Aikman I think by all accounts that was a damn good pick and then they also got Bill Musgrave but at that point they had Troy so that doesn't really count so let's go ahead and fast forward a little bit to after Troy Aikman's peak of his career in which they would actually be looking for a real replacement and that's when the Cowboys drafted Quincy Carter in the second round of the 2001 draft then Isaiah Stanback in the fourth round of the 2007 draft and then Stephen McGee in the fourth round of the 2009 draft and then they tried to trade up in 2016 to get Paxton Lynch and Connor Cook two guys that are no longer actually playing in the NFL right now and, but then that year they settled on, oh, ho-hum, Dak Prescott in round four at pick 135. And then in 2018, they drafted Mike White in round five at pick 171 for some reason. And then after Mike White, we also drafted Ben DiNucci in 2020 in the seventh round. Which my only point here is the Cowboys haven't actually had all that good of a history drafting quarterbacks, specifically since the Joneses have taken over. But either way, going back to our nice little graphic here, let's take a look at the QBs the Cowboys have traded for, right? They, they may be able to make a trade and maybe they could trade back to someone and get a QB back that can be a nice bridge quarterback. All right, how does a Matt Castle or a Drew Henson sound to you? Any takers there? Didn't think so. What about the free agents they've signed? Surely they've signed some worthwhile free agents in the quarterback market. Well, let's see. In 1992, they signed Jason Garrett. In 93, they signed Bernie Kosar and Babe Loffenberg. In 94, they signed Rodney Pete. In 96, they signed Wade Wilson. In 2000, undrafted free agent Anthony Wright. In 2000, another free agent Randall Cunningham. In 2001, undrafted free agent Clint Stoner. 2001 again, free agent Ryan Leaf. <laughs> 2002, undrafted free agent Chad Hutchinson. 2003, we got lucky with Tony Romo, undrafted free agent Tony Romo. 2004, free agent Vinny Testaverde. 2005, we got Drew Bledsoe. In 2007, we got Brad Johnson. In 2009, we got undrafted free agent John Kitna. In 2012, we got Kyle Orton. 14, Brandon Whedon. 2014 again, undrafted free agent Dustin Vaughn. 2015, signed a practice squad, Kellen Moore. So literally, all these years this franchise has been existence for, my only point is this, for all these years this franchise has been in existence for, they have successfully managed to get a handful of guys out of all these years. It's been what, essentially 60 plus years. And they have Dak Prescott, Troy Aikman, Tony Romo, Danny White, Roger Staubach, and Don Meredith is their only quarterbacks in their history that were worth a damn. And Don Meredith, Roger Staubach, and Danny White, that was so long ago, that don't even count anymore. The draft don't even work the same. And essentially, the only guys you can take credit for as an ownership group are Dak Prescott and Tony Romo. Troy Aikman was the first overall pick, so you can't get credit for finding a guy when he's already looked at as one of the creams of the crop. But Dak, y'all didn't want Dak that year, and Tony Romo was a happy accident. So why is it that this fan base has any faith at all 
that the Joneses are capable, are capable of finding a proper replacement for Dak Prescott if we were to move off of a guy that's literally going into the peak of his career. Do y'all realize that if Tony Romo never got injured, he would likely have started for the Cowboys another eight years or so. Jerry would have easily let him play for the Cowboys until he was 37, 38 years old, even with his lack of success in the playoffs. But the only thing that was holding him back was his health. Dak is literally going into the peak of his career and there's a contingent of the fan base that genuinely believes the best thing to do is to move off of him. Why? Because of some intangible fallacy that you created in your head about Dak Prescott that he's not capable of winning the big games? Okay, well how can you be sure that any dude that you're going to draft is going to be capable of winning the big game and how can you be sure they're going to be as good as Dak has been in the league? So not only are you taking a chance at the next guy not helping you win games, but there's a large, large chance the next guy is going to be a worse quarterback than Dak. So you downgraded the position and you didn't change the outcome. It's just a foolish, foolish thing to think about. And the Cowboys are genuinely in a position as a franchise right now where they sign their guys and they run it back for the next three or four years and add pieces and change out pieces and maybe get a new head coach in if Mike McCarthy can't push us a little bit further this year. Get a new head coach in for another three or four seasons. Let that head coach give it some shots with Dak. After those three or four seasons are done with that new head coach and Dak Prescott, at that time, you'll be free to, to, to reload and rebuild your team and it'll be the perfect time to start trading some of the other guys to maybe look at trading a CD or trading a Michael Parsons or trade one of those type of guys they'll be 29 30 years old by then and headed towards the twilights of their career so that will be the perfect time to trigger a rebuild but you don't trigger a rebuild when all of your guys are peaking and going into their primes at the very same time and you don't trigger a rebuild when your front office has not shown you that they're capable of actually successfully doing a rebuild the Cowboys have never actually done a true rebuild before. They got lucky with Tony Romo. Tony Romo's above average level quarterback play helped them win a couple more games over 500 some years. Some years they went back down to 500. This is the first time since the dynasty years that the Cowboys have been to the playoffs three years in a row, but also have a team that's set up to continue going to the playoffs year after year after year. And I think it's just absolutely foolish. It's absolute nine, as a 10, as 11 for fans to think that now is the time to press that reset button just because you can't control your emotions and everyone lives in a microwave society now. Everyone wants things done instantly. They want things to happen right then, right there, exactly when they want it. And that's just not how things work, man. Sports are all about trying to get the best team possible to compete. And once you have that team that's ready to compete, you change out some of the interchangeable pieces and you keep rocking with your core and maybe it'll happen maybe it won't but that's what sports are about there are no guarantees in sports there's nothing that you can do that guarantees yourself a super bowl and that's just what it is short of selling your soul which i'm sure jerry has already sold all of his soul tickets to the devil by now but either way we steal them same old cowboys the draft is coming up they better not draft michael penix jr or it's all hell's gonna break loose bro. <laughs> and i'll see you guys on the next one Calling me, texting me, paging me, asking me, am I still involved? Y'all use the check on me. Listen, 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 listen. I'm still involved. Hey! Woo! Hey! Hey! I'm still involved.